Imagine living in a world where you are judged by the color of your skin, denied basic human rights and treated as a second class citizen. This was the reality for the African Americans before the civil rights movement. Hello well-wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the civil rights movement which took place long ago but it had an impact worldwide. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin. In this video, we are going to talk about the causes that led to this movement, the key events, there are six in total, and what was the success, the end result of this movement. So stay tuned. There were three major causes that led to the civil rights movement. The first was institutional racism and segregation. The second was violence and terror. And the third was cultural and social resistance. Now let us have a look at each of them in details. When we talk about the causes of the black civil rights movement, the first being institutional racism and segregation. Within this were the Jim Crow laws. Now let's imagine stepping back in time to the early 1900s in southern United States. Everywhere you look, there are signs that say whites only or colored. Now these signs were not just about where you could sit, eat or use the restroom. They were about a system called Jim Crow. This was not the name of a person only, but rather it was a series of laws which were enforced to create racial segregation or to create a hierarchical system. These laws were everywhere, controlling every aspect of a person's life. And if you were African American, you had to attend separate schools, ride in different sections of the buses and even drink from the water fountains. It was not just inconvenient, it was a constant reminder that society viewed them as inferior. Now the goal of Jim Crow laws was to keep African Americans in their place, if I may put that in quotation marks. This would help in maintaining a system where whites had all the powers and privileges. Next was the economic inequality. Now think about trying to make a living in a world where the odds are stacked against you. You are bound to face challenges. For the African Americans, finding a job, a decent home or getting quality education was absolutely difficult. Even if they were qualified, many were denied jobs or they were paid less simply because of their racial background. This was not just about money, mind you. It was about survival. Poor schools meant limited education, which in turn meant fewer job opportunities. And this led to the families of these African American people being trapped in the cycle of poverty. Now housing was no different. Black families were often forced into overcrowded substandard neighborhoods. So economic inequality was not just a side effect of racism. It was a deliberate strategy to keep the African Americans at the bottom of the society. Followed by this was political disenfranchisement. Imagine wanting to vote but being blocked at every turn. That's what many African Americans faced in the South, where voting was not just a right, it was a battle for them, imagine. States used sneaky tactics like literacy tests, complicated exams that even well-educated people would struggle to pass. All this only to prevent the African Americans from voting. Then there were also the poll taxes, the fees that you had to pay to vote, which many poor black families simply couldn't afford. So the whole system was rigged to make sure the African Americans could not have a voice in the government. And without the ability to vote, obviously you know the result. They could not influence laws 
or policies that affected their lives which led them to being powerless in the face of injustice now when it comes to violence and terror let's talk about something even darker which is lynching this was not just violence it was a form of terror designed to keep the african americans in a state of constant fear imagine living in a community where at any time a group of white men could decide to take someone's life often in the most brutal manner that the public could not even imagine and for no fault of theirs these lynchings were often carried out in broad daylight mind you with large crowds watching as if it were a spectacle a scene being played on the stage the message was clear if you step out of line this could happen to you too lynching was not just murder it was a tool of white supremacy used to enforce racial boundaries and to remind african americans of their place in society added to this imagine when something like this is happening you might want to go to the police for help but police brutality was another harsh reality for these african americans imagine living in a place where those who were supposed to protect you could also be the ones who hurt you the most Yes, I'm right. African Americans often faced brutal treatment from law enforcement, including beatings, false arrests, and even killings. There was little chance for justice because the legal system was rigged against them. Complaints were ignored. Perpetrators were rarely held accountable. This constant threat of violence from those in power. made life incredibly difficult for the african americans reinforcing the oppressive structures the systems that they were trying to fight against but amid all this oppression there was also the incredible strength and creativity which still existed imagine walking down the streets of harlem in the 1920s where the air is buzzing with the sounds of jazz the walls are lined with brilliant paintings and the conversations are filled with powerful ideas this was harlem renaissance a cultural explosion that celebrated african american identity writers artists musicians and thinkers were redefining what it meant to be a black in america they used their work to challenge stereotypes express pride in their heritage and demand respect and equality this movement was not just about art it was about laying the intellectual groundwork for the civil rights movement it was a declaration that african americans had a rich vibrant culture that deserved to be recognized and respected finally let's talk about the impact of world war 2 Now many African Americans served in the military fighting for freedom and democracy abroad but when they returned home they faced the same old racism and discrimination this was a bitter pill to swallow these veterans along with other African Americans began to demand the same freedom they had fought for overseas so imagine they were actually being used their lives were considered to be invaluable which is why they were sent to fight world war 2 but when these african americans returned they returned with a sense of vitality vigor to be able to know how they could channelize and exercise their right to freedom now this demand for equality became known as the double v campaign victory against fascism abroad and victory against racism at home it was a rallying cry that united african americans across the country fueling the momentum for the civil rights movement the double v campaign showed that african americans were no longer willing to accept second class citizenship they were ready to fight for full and equal rights now as we saw the key causes that led to the civil rights movement these are in line the six major events if you see they are arranged in a chronological order to show you what exactly had happened let's look at them in details now 
Before we proceed with the video, there are 95% of you who are watching my videos but you are not subscribing to the channel. To help it grow and to give me a little more support, I would really request you to do subscribe to the channel. Imagine being a young black student in the 1950s, forced to attend a school far from home with outdated books and crumbling buildings just because of your skin color. I feel so bad when I'm even telling this to you. This was the reality before 1954 when the Supreme Court changed everything with a case called Brown v. Board of Education. This was not just any random case, it was a game changer. The court ruled that separating children in public schools based on race was unconstitutional. This decision overturned the old separate but equal doctrine from Plessy v. Ferguson, which had allowed racial segregation to flourish. The ruling was a huge victory for the civil rights movement, marking the beginning of the end for legally sanctioned segregation in America. It sent a clear message that the country could no longer justify treating people differently because of race, their skin color, especially in education. Now, now, picture this. We now move on to 1955 in Montgomery, Alabama and an African-American woman named Rosa Parks is sitting on a bus exhausted after a long day's work. A white passenger demands her seat, but Rosa refuses to move. This simple act of defiance set off a wave of resistance that changed history. After Rosa Parks was arrested, the black community over there decided to take a stand. For over a year, they refused to ride the city buses, choosing to walk, carpool or find other ways to get around. This boycott was not just about buses, it was about demanding respect and equal treatment. The boycott was a major success, leading to the desegregation of Montgomery's public buses and putting a younger pastor named Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. into the national spotlight. So this movement showed the power of collective action and non-violent protest. Many of you watching the video might be teenagers or you have known what it is to be a teenager. Now imagine being one of the nine teenagers walking into a high school surrounded by angry mobs shouting threats and insults just because you are black. This was the reality for the Little Rock Nine. It was a group of African American students who enrolled at Central High School in Little Rock in 1957. Despite a court order to desegregate, the governor of Arkansas tried to block their entry by sending the National Guard. But these students were determined and with the help of federal troops sent by President Eisenhower, they finally were able to attend classes. Their courage in the face of such hostility, hatred, non-acceptance made headlines across the country and it became a powerful symbol of struggle for integration, for inclusion in the society. So the Little Rock Nine's bravery helped to expose the deep-seated racism in the South and the need for federal intervention to ensure equal rights. Finally, we have the Freedom Rides of 1961. Now what was this about? Imagine boarding a bus and knowing that you might be attacked or even killed or be even killed just for sitting next to someone of a different race. Oh my God. This was the reality for the Freedom Riders in 1961. These brave activists, both black and white, rode interstate buses into the deep south to challenge segregation in bus terminals. They faced violent mobs, bombings and arrests but they did not break down. Their courage drew national attention to the brutal reality of segregation and forced the federal government to act. So the Freedom Riders were a key moment in the civil rights movement, showing that even ordinary people who were armed with nothing 
but only their conviction determination and bravery could confront and dismantle the deeply rooted racist system their actions led to the federal enforcement of desegregation in interstate travel facilities picture a warm august day in 1963 where more than 2 lakh 50000 people black and white young and old gathered in washington dc united by a common cause this was the march on washington for jobs and freedom one of the largest political rallies in american history the march was a call to end racism and to demand civil and economic rights for african americans but what truly made this day unforgettable was dr Ma- dr martin luther king junior's i have a dream speech a video on that is already live on my channel in case you have that as a text you can also look that up now his words echoed across national mall painting a vision of a future where people would be judged by the content of their character not the color of their skin the march on washington dc was a powerful demonstration of unity and hope and it played a crucial role in the passage of civil rights legislation this finally led to the civil rights act of 1964 where what happens now that was the reality the landmark legislation which was like a thunderbolt that struck down the legal foundations of segregation and discrimination was the civil rights act it outlawed segregation in public places like restaurants theaters hotels and banned employment discrimination ensuring that everyone had the right to work and live without facing prejudice otherwise imagine these people were not even allowed to move about freely and get access to modes of entertainment like visiting a restaurant etc so the act was a major victory for the civil rights movement it was a culmination a coming together of years of protests boycotts and legal battles it did not solve all the problems overnight but yes it was a giant step towards equality signaling that the federal government was committed to enforcing civil rights finally let's look at the success rate of this movement there are three aspects the legal and political achievement social and cultural impact and ultimately a global influence of this movement let us look at each of them in details now now we all saw the causes and the main events in the civil rights movement the first success rate was in the field of desegregation this movement dismantled the system starting with the brown v board of education which challenged the separate but equal doctrine This victory paved the way for desegregation across schools, buses and public facilities, marking a significant step towards equality. Secondly, they were given voting rights because earlier you remember how I told you that they were facing challenges and obstacles to vote and if they don't vote, how are they going to put their point across? So the passing of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 protected African Americans right to vote, empowering millions to participate fully in the politically political process and influencing the future social change. And finally, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 this was a major you know breaking point because it marked a major turning point in american history where the people were no longer discriminated on the basis of their race color religion sex or national origin now to talk about the social and cultural impact the civil rights movement sparked a cultural revolution empowering african americans to take pride in their heritage movements like black power celebrated black history and identity challenging stereotypes and increasing representation in the fields of music art literature and politics 
so this era marked a significant assertion of black self worth and cultural pride this also led to inspiring the other marginalized groups such as women and lgbtq communities to fight for their rights the principles of equality and dignity for all championed by civil rights movement had laid the groundwork for broader social justice movements leading to an important legal and social advancement or a path a way forward for many other groups who were not being able to find a way to put their point across finally let's take a step back and look at the global stage the civil rights movement was not just an american phenomenon it resonated with people fighting for freedom and equality all over the world from the anti apartheid struggle in south africa sorry to human rights campaigns in latin america the movement's principles and strategies inspired countless others there were activists worldwide who saw how non-violent protest legal challenges and grassroots organizing could bring about a major change leaders like nelson mandela in south africa drew inspiration from this movement in his fight against a system of institutionalized racial segregation and there were other african americans also in different parts who tried their best to protest in a peaceful manner so the movement influenced independence movements in colonies across africa and asia where people were fighting against the imperial rule so the civil rights movement showed the world that the oppressed people could rise up collectively demand their rights and set a powerful example which still proudly echoes till today So that's it from this video I hope you liked it do hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more such future updates thank you for watching bye